Hi there, welcome to the video. This week I thought I'd do something just for fun. Bass often takes a backseat to guitar, vocals and even drums. But every now and again, it takes centre stage. I've put together some of my favourite bass appearances in popular culture. Spinal Tap is a Christopher Guest mockumentary comedy movie. Can I raise a practical question at this point? Yeah. Are we going to do Stonehenge tomorrow? No, we're not going to do At one point in the movie, they play a song called Big Bottom, which features three bass guitars. The bigger the cushion, the sweeter the portion. I think this is the only time in history it has been acceptable to have three basses on stage at once. The bass player in Spinal Tap is Derek Smalls, played by Harry Shearer, also known for his voice work on The Simpsons. Am I so out of touch? No. It's the children who are wrong. In real life, Harry Shearer has a passion for playing bass, and you can tell from the footage of the movie that he knows what he's doing. The 1980 movie Blues Brothers featured many artists, including James Brown, Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, and Cab Calloway. But the one that really blew me away was Donald Duck Dunn. He was the bass player in Booker T and the MGs, and was part of the Stax record label House Band. He played bass for Otis Redding, Sam and Dave, Bill Withers and Elvis Presley, amongst many more. He can be seen playing bass for the Blues Brothers Band all the way through the movie. He also gets some great one-liners. Why not? If the shit fits, where? Well. We had a band powerful enough to turn goat piss into gasoline. The next one's from the sitcom, I'm Alan Partridge. I don't know if this series was popular outside of the UK, but if you can track it down on a streaming service, then check it out. It's one of my favorite sitcoms of all time. Wanna smell my chicken, mother? One of the funniest scenes is where Alan plays airbase in his static home. The track is Music for Chameleons by Gary Newman. <laughs> the bass player on this track is Pino Palladino, playing a fretless bass on one of his first ever recording sessions. In I Love You Man, the two protagonists bond over their love of Rush, and features a montage of them jamming Rush tracks. We also get a cameo from Rush themselves, Bass players, let me know in the comments how many times have you had this quoted at you? There Slapping you the bass, man! There you go. Slap at that bass, man! I slap at that bass! Please don't do that. Paul Rudd actually learned to play the bass for this movie. You can tell he can play a bit. Apparently he learned some Rush songs to prepare for the role. Not a bad way to get good at bass. Michael Cera plays bass player Scott Pilgrim. He can be seen playing the iconic Rickenbacker bass. Michael Cera is actually a bass player in real life and has recorded many albums and is the touring bass player for the band Mr. Heavenly, so he was ideal for the role. If you can think of any other bass players in popular culture, please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.